how to build a semantic HTML table inside Webflow. That's what we're learning today. Our end result is this, this beautiful pricing table. We're going to build this. It's going to be semantic HTML, an actual HTML table component, and it's going to look great. So first, let's open the apps panel in Webflow and go launch the FinSuite table app. We can select how many rows and columns we want for manual data entry, or we can import data from other sources. We can also change element settings, like adding a footer or removing the header. We can also, very cool, generate classes for each of the table elements created on the page so we can customize that table element creation. And for now, we are going to add four columns and seven rows. We can quickly do this by using the visual grid or using the manual inputs. I'm going to keep the header here and remove the footer and the caption. For classes, let's keep the table prefix. Uh, we can also change it to plans, for example, but let's keep it the default table. You can see here on the right that we have a preview of our table and we can edit the content by clicking on the cells like text one and text two. But we already have a spreadsheet, so let's go and quickly copy and paste the content from a spreadsheet. Let's go to Google Sheets, for example, select the data, copy with control C, command C on Mac, and then paste it in this field. Nice, done. Now we can insert our table on the page. First, let's select an element in the Webflow canvas, like the container, and click on this button. Now we have our table populated and with the data. Great, now let's add some styles to the classes. In the navigator, we can check the structure of this table and all of the classes. Perfect, exactly what we're looking for. We have the table component, and inside the table component, we have the table head and the table body. Inside the table body, we have the table rows, and inside those table rows, we have the table cells. Inside the table head, we have one more row with the table headers. This is the full structure of the table that we just generated in the app. And all of these elements are the correct HTML table tags, so you are fully accessible and you are good for SEO with this table setup. Great, so let's now style this pricing table. Let's make it look good. And first, let's go select the table component and change the width to 100. And on typography, we can align the text to the center. And as the table component is the parent, it will apply this to all the cells. So now we can go and select one of the cells and add some padding. Let's add 12 pixel padding and change to rem. Uh, to apply this padding to all sizes, we can press shift and click enter. Great, now we're starting to look good. Okay, and as every cell has the same class here, it's going to change the padding on all cells. But we can absolutely customize individual cells, rows of cells, it's up to you. You can add these classes if you want to and really customize to whatever you want it to look like. And we can style the entire row if we want. So let's go and select one of the table rows. We have a border on the bottom, great. Now in the header, I would like to add an icon with the plans. So to do that, let's select the text, then delete it. Then with the header selected, let's add a div block. We are able to add elements inside the cells. This can take our designs to the next level. So on this div block, let's add a class like table header block. Let's change the display to flex, vertical, and center, and add a 0.5 rem gap. Now let's add an image inside this div block. And we can call this table header icon. And set the width to 1.5 rems. Then I'll select one of the icons I already have here in the assets panel. Nice. And for the plans, we're going to add in a text block, and we can call this table header title. And change the font size to 1.5 rem. Good. Now let's go change the text to starter and replicate the structure to the other headers. 
the other two and we can delete them. Done. Okay. I think it's missing some padding here in these headers. So let me add 12 pixel padding to the headers as well. And that happened because we have a different class for header and cells. So now we can style both of them if we want to. Okay, let's quickly change the text of the plans to advanced and to enterprise. And also change the icons for each one. Let's make this official. This is the starter icon and great. This is the enterprise icon. Great. We're almost there. In this case, we have two headers for this pricing table. We have one in the first row and we have one in the first column. So to highlight the ones in the column, we can add a combo class like is header. And we can change the font weight to semi bold. Now, manually, we can go and add this combo class to the other headers. Cool. Now let's fix these prices here, missing the dollar sign. Okay, and style them as well. And we can do the same using the combo class method. Let's add is price and change the font size and change the color. Great. To improve this pricing table visually, we're going to add some icons. Okay, first let's remove the text content. Then inside the table cell, let's add an image. And this can be the table icon and can have a width of 1.5 rem. Let's choose the icon and copy and paste it to the other cells. To finish, let's add a new row with the buttons. Our users should be able to subscribe to our plan. So let's go and add that new row with new custom elements. So let's check here in the navigator again. We can copy and duplicate any row we want. This works just like any other element in Webflow. In this case, let's duplicate a row and let's remove the text content of the cells. We select, double click, delete. We do the same for the other cells. With the empty cells, we're going to add our buttons. This button can have the class of button, which is a style class I already have in my style guide. We can copy and paste the button to the other cells, and then we're done with our pricing table. We can add styles to our table on all responsive levels. Since this is an HTML table component, we do recommend setting a width and overflow scroll so that users can swipe and see the full table content on both tablet and mobile. Great. Before we publish, I'm going to add a pricing header. Let's make this official. I'm going to add a div block called table wrapper to wrap the table component. We'll add three rem padding and we will also add black borders. Great. Our pricing table is published and it looks awesome. We can see with Inspector that we are using the correct HTML tags like table, body, TR, and TD. So this is a fully semantic HTML table component inside Webflow. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial and subscribing to FinSuite. Happy table making. Install FinSuite table in Webflow today.